Hot as Alessio Rastani of Leading Trader. Hope you're well. Now, over the last few days, you're probably aware that Bitcoin not only went to test 6,000, the key 6,000 level of support, but also went below the 6,000 level, which is certainly very interesting. And when you look at a chart like this of Bitcoin, you might be reminded of that 90s um, pop song uh, by Fragma. I think it's called I Need a Miracle. It's going to need a miracle. It's going to need something to rescue it. And what it needs is more demand than supply. In other words, what it needs is buyers to come and rescue it. Now, I should just say that just a few days ago, I posted this. I sent this to my members and this is my premium members. And I sent them this chart in our premium service. And I talked about Bitcoin. And here's what I said. I said, as for Bitcoin, here's what the charts and the wave counts indicate. And I showed this chart of the wave counts. And what I said about this chart was this, as you can see here. I said the charts indicate that the recent bounce, and that's the bounce we had last week, has been corrective. And that's the key word here, corrective, which means an ABC wave 4 correction. In other words, this bounce we had here was an ABC wave 4 correction, which means that a likely wave 5 is looming. And that wave, the wave five move could likely result in a retest of 6,000 or lower. And that's the projection that I showed in my premium update last week. And that's exactly what we saw happening in the last couple of days. As you can see here, in fact, let me just change this to a four hour time frame. And this actually makes a lot more sense on that four hour time frame. There it is. So last week we saw Bitcoin plodding, kind of grinding slowly higher. And I think a lot of folks probably got their hopes up thinking, well, that's probably a reversal and a bullish rally. No, it wasn't. Actually, from the pattern and the way it was moving, it clearly looked like an ABC wave four correction. And this is the next wave lower, which looks to be like a wave five. Now, whatever wave it is, doesn't really matter. The bottom line is that we're below support. We're below the key levels in fact, actually, just mention one more thing. As I'm making this video, Bitcoin is making a rather strong bounce, as you can see here, this green bar you're seeing here. It's a rather strong bounce. Now, I wouldn't put too much into it, okay, because I'm making this video on a Sunday. And something important you should be aware, which is that a lot of activity that happens on a weekend on Bitcoin and cryptocurrencies should be treated with a lot of caution because a lot of this activity on weekends is done by bots and algorithms. Now, I'll make a separate video about this for you, but essentially what you need to remember is that a lot of the activity that happens on Saturdays and Sundays should be treated with a lot of caution because a lot of this activity is driven by bots activity, not organic actual trader activity, but a lot of it's done by, again, bots and algorithm designed by institutions to manipulate the price and of course, to manipulate investor behavior. So you gotta be very careful when you look at a chart that includes weekend action, which is why you often see me using a chart that excludes weekend activity which is often actually more reliable. But bottom line is this, guys. As I'm making this video, you can see that Bitcoin has come back, retested the previous lows, well, essentially the previous lows of February. It's gone even below that level, as you can see there. It's gone below that level, certainly below the 6,000 level, and of course, below the key April lows. These levels are now holding as resistance for Bitcoin. We're below these levels. And the only miracle that's really going to help Bitcoin is the kind of miracle that gets Bitcoin above those levels. It needs to be rescued by buyers. So there must be more demand than supply. And we need to wait and see if the price gets above those levels. Only if that happens, can there be some hope and potential rescue for Bitcoin, in which case we could see a renewed rally in Bitcoin. But at the moment, we got nothing. All right. So certainly we got a nice bounce here. Now, I'm sure a lot of folks right now are thinking about buying Bitcoin simply because it's dropping. But as I mentioned before, it's a dangerous thing to do. Yes, it is true that Bitcoin is near just below support or resistance. Uh, and yes, it is true that RSI is telling us that we've hit also very oversold, oversold levels. OK, but remember that in a downward trend, when the market's dropping heavily in a strong downward momentum movement, oversold levels like this can be ignored by the market. OK, and it often that often happens. So just be careful about that. In fact, just take a look at Litecoin. Here's a chart of Litecoin. And I warned about this a couple of weeks ago. Two weeks ago, you may remember from my video when I talked about Litecoin being on the edge of a cliff. And I said, look, Litecoin is dropping right now. Be very careful. And when I made that video, price of Litecoin at the time was here. Let me show you. There it is. 
and I warned, I warned very strongly against buying Litecoin at that time because I said, look, it's breaking market structure, it's breaking support and just buying simply because price is falling, you know, just buying willy nilly. That's not a good reason. That's not a good enough reason for buying a market, buying an asset. OK, it doesn't doesn't matter what it is. And you can see since that time I made that video and since it broke that key level, Litecoin has continued to drop. So anyone who bought Litecoin at that time near the 110 level, well, they're sitting in a loss right now. And I want to bring this to your attention because in one of the best books ever written about investing and trading, which I recommend everybody should read this book, it's called Market Wizards by Jack Schwager, one of the most classic and best books ever written about investing and trading. In that book, there is an interview with a trader called Bill Eckhart or William Eckhart one of the best top traders in the world. And here's what he says. The interviewer, Jack Schwager, asks him, this is the question, are there any natural human tendencies that you think tend to sabotage success in trading? By the way, that also applies to investing too, in this instance. Here's what Bill Eckhart says. Look at his answer. He says, there is what I refer to as the call of the counter trend. OK, he says there's a constellation of cognitive and emotional factors that makes people automatically counter trend in their approach. People want to buy cheap and sell dear. This by itself makes them counter trend. But the notion of cheapness and dearness must be anchored, must be anchored to something. People tend to view the prices they're used to as normal and prices removed from these levels as aberrant. This perspective leads people to trade counter to an emerging trend on the assumption that prices will eventually return to normal. Therein lies the path to disaster. Guys, if there's one thing I recommend you do is take that quote, copy it, I don't care what you do with it, but just stick it on a piece of paper in front of your computer and read that before you place the next trade. Because what Bill Eckhart says there in that particular quote is absolutely spot on. A lot of traders only learn this after making tremendous mistakes. They think the meaning of the word contrarian means you just buy just because prices are falling or going against the trend. Wrong. You have to combine that with other factors. For example, a timing technique, some kind of reversal signal. And I talked about this in two of my videos. I talked about it in this particular video here. Uh, three things not to do when Bitcoin is dropping. And also this one over here, three easy timing strategies for buying Bitcoin. So putting what Bill Eckhart was saying, I'm sure there's a lot of people out there who when they saw Bitcoin dropping here, they thought, oh, OK, as a contrarian, they're going to go start buying, doing the opposite of everybody else wrong. I've already explained in my previous videos why that would be a very disastrous decision to just start buying willy nilly just because prices are falling. No, you got to use something in addition to that, some kind of timing technique, some kind of reversal signal. So remember, you can't just simply enter the market and start buying just because prices are falling. Anyone who did that is sitting in a loss right now. And similarly, just because prices have come down to the previous levels, we've tested does not mean there's good enough reason here to start buying either because there is no evidence at this point to tell us that this market is not ready to fall further lower. And that means this, guys, the next few days for Bitcoin are going to be absolutely important. I would say this week coming, this particular week is going to be the most important week for Bitcoin, because unless some kind of miracle can save Bitcoin, if buyers can get in, if buyers can rescue Bitcoin and get it back above those levels, then great. Danger is potentially averted. But if it cannot do that, if Bitcoin continues to struggle to get back above those key levels, then brace for impact. We're heading lower. All right, guys, before I finish this video, I just want to say three things. Firstly, if you want to become a leading trader premium member, the link to do so to become a member is in the description box. And secondly, if you like this video, you found it helpful, educational, please give it a thumbs up. And thirdly, please subscribe to these videos by clicking on the icon you see here in front of you so you don't miss our next update. Thank you very much indeed. Bye for now.